Today we're going to change your inbox from looking gross like this to looking awesome like this. <laughs> What's up? Louis here, guys. Um, the average worker in America is distracted every 11 minutes and our task changes about 300 times a day real quick. We switch between tabs, we check different emails with all this stuff. One of the biggest things for me especially is email. It's a big distraction piece. It's something that as realtors we think is super important. We have to be on email all the time. We have to be ready to look at it all and it's all just there. But what we're going to do today is take the distraction away from email and make it efficient as possible. So here's what happened. I used to organize email by folder, right? When I started in real estate, I was like every single email, I'm gonna save this into a specific folder. I had folder for every single client, for every single deal with that client. I had folders for all the vendors I was using, folders, 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 and it was everywhere. And at the start, it was fine because I didn't have too much going on. As that grew and as my team grew as well, it just became a nightmare, a mess. And what I found was it was taking even longer to sort through email because I was manually dragging them to all the specific folders they were supposed to be in. And the truth of the matter is that I never checked those folders ever. If I had to find an email, I went to search, search for it, and it was there. So what is the point in the folders in the first place? Really, there is none. So I went on an adventure to find out the most efficient way to control my email inbox and to get it zero based. This would take away all the distractions and it would also save me a ton of time by not having to put them in folder after folder after folder. So let's dive into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so we're in one of my personal email accounts here. I use this a lot for newsletters and different things, but I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do this from start to finish. My real estate email is already done and we're gonna plug into that and I'm gonna show you how I operate that one too, okay? So, but I'm gonna show you step by step how to get this done. Now, like I was saying, back in the day, I had folders everywhere. There was probably at least 30 to 40 different folders here and it was a big old mess. So, we are gonna go zero inbox here. And let's just do it step by step, guys. So the first thing you are gonna do is you come up, come up to settings and we're gonna go see all settings. All right, from there, the first one we're gonna to go to is the advanced tab. We're gonna click there and we're gonna click on auto advance. And now every time you change something, you're gonna to have to save changes, okay? So save changes right here. Perfecto, okay. Next, we're gonna go into settings again this time we're gonna to go to general and we're gonna make sure that auto advance is on and that we're gonna to go to the next newer conversation. Okay, so make sure it's on next newer uh, conversation. And then we're also gonna scroll down here and we're gonna go keyboard shortcuts right there. And we're gonna scroll down and save changes. Perfect. Now we're gonna go into settings again this time we're gonna to go to labels. Now these are the folders that we're gonna actually use moving forward, okay? And there's gonna be three of them. There's gonna be follow-up, waiting, and then read through later. That's the only three folders that we're gonna have or labels as you call them in Gmail. So we're gonna go ahead and create them now. So create a new label. This one is follow-up. Make sure you leave a space between follow and up. All right, next one. We're gonna to go to waiting, create that. Next one, we're gonna to go to read through. I'm just gonna call it read through. Create right there. You could call that read later or whatever you want, okay? Create that right there. Okay, cool. We have them and they're right here. Uh, read through, waiting, and follow up. Now this is what I was talking about, guys. There's actually a couple of tags in here that I don't want. So you would just come to here. If you have a tag or a folder you don't want anymore, you just go to here and we just go to remove label, delete. Um, let's take that one as well. Remove label, boom. And I'm gonna take this one out to remove label, boom. Follow up, read through waiting, personal. Let's take that out too. All I want is these three, that's all I want. Okay, so once you've created those three folders, you do not have to save, they are just created. Now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna to go to inbox. A Couple of things you're gonna do here, we are gonna go from inbox type, from default, we're gonna switch it to multiple inboxes and that's gonna bring up this one right here. Now we're gonna to link to our three folders. I know what you're thinking, what is going on here? Trust me, this is gonna make tons of sense in just a minute, okay? So, first one, you're gonna type along with me, we're gonna go, L 
So L, then colon, and then from there we're going to go follow dash up. Okay, L colon follow dash up. Next one, we're going to go L colon waiting. Next one, we're going to go L colon read through. And while we're in there, guys, name these because they're going to come up looking like this. So I'm just going to go follow up, waiting, read through. All right. From there, we're going to go 10 conversations per page. You want to change it to 10. Then we're going to go right of inbox, no markers. And then from there, we're going to go don't overwrite filters. Save changes. And when it pops up, ooh, look at this. Now we have these three things on the side. What's this going to do? Now, uh, real quick here, I like to change colors just so I can see this uh, pretty clearly. So you're going to go three dots. I'm going to go label color. I like red for follow up because that's going to be important. Uh, I like to go green for follow through because that's going to be the least important. And then waiting, I go yellow. Boom, boom. Okay, so now we have everything perfectly set up the way I want it. We just need to actually run through what this all means, okay? So there's four actions you can take with an email, okay? Only four actions. You can archive it, which means it goes away. It doesn't delete, it just goes away into your archive. You can always search for it again, but it goes away. I don't need to deal with that again. Uh, you can follow up. That is an email that needs followed up from you pretty soon, if not immediately. Um, then you can wait. So waiting is going to be something that you're waiting for someone else to respond to. Okay, so it might be, you know, a lender from a deal or the other agent from a deal. You need the, you're waiting on the response, but you're not the one that has to initiate it. So I put that into the waiting folder. And then the last one is read through, which is going to be a read through later. Okay, so it might be, um, you know, an in man article. You're like, oh, I need to read that later. You put it in the read through um, category and go from there. Okay. So you can either archive it, follow up, waiting, or read through. All right, so let's jump into my actual real estate email so we can do some real-time examples. So as you can see, this is all set up on the side here. I've already got a couple of things I need to respond to. Some things I'm waiting from, um, you know, a lender exactly like this. Look, the lender got back to me, which is awesome. And some things I'm going to read later because they're interesting articles. They look pretty good. I'll get to those later on. No biggie. So let's go through. You're going to wake up in the morning and you see some emails. Typically, this would be cleared out, obviously, because I'm, I'm getting to inbox zero every day. Um, so I'm going to click on this bottom one. It's an email from uh, one of my agents. He is in North Carolina. Um, and it's just a kind of bits and bobs. There's nothing of vital importance that I need to respond to immediately. Um, so I'm going to move this. I'm going to go L for label. And then I'm going to go to later, read later. Boom. And that's going to put it in the read later category. And then I'm going to go E for archive. Boom. And it's gone. Okay, next one. This is from my TC. Um, it's an action needed from me about one of the uh, houses we're under contract for. I need to respond to that for sure. So I'm going to go L. And then for this one, I'm going to go follow up. Perfect. Then E for archive. It just takes it out the inbox. Remember, it doesn't delete it. it takes it out the inbox and it puts it into the category I want it to. Okay, next one, what are we looking at here? Another email from one of my agents. Uh, they're looking for a Trello board that I built out for them. They have to go through a little course that I put them through to learn everything before I actually give them the board to mess around with. So he's now done that, so I'm gonna have to follow up and send him the uh, Trello board over. Archive. Uh, from this one, a buyer settlement statement for a closing I have tomorrow. I've already um, read this. If you look at this, already yesterday, I tagged this, uh, sorry, this morning, I tagged this as waiting because I was waiting for this to come through. It came through, I read it, we're good to go, everything's looking good for closing. So I'm going to actually take this tag off and then I'm going to go E for archive. This one is from a lender that I work with. Um, we do some online leads for the team. Um, I'm going to respond to this one later um, because it's not super pressing right now, but I do need to respond to this probably in the next couple of days here. So I'm going to go L, I'm going to go later, read later. Boom, E for archive, boom, done, perfect. Okay, 
this is a, a message from the title company telling me about this closing tomorrow. I've already spoke with them on the phone today, so they are good to go. So E for archive. This is a newsletter from someone talking about um, properties in um, rural Colorado. Every single email gets an action attached to it. I don't deal in rural Colorado, so I'm going to actually come down here and unsubscribe. Boom, like that. I no longer want to receive it. Boom, unsubscribed. And then I'm going to archive. And look at this. We've got zero in the inbox. This is inbox zero, successful. Now, instead of just having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven emails just sitting in my inbox, they all look the same. It's like, oh gosh, I have to get to these emails. Now I know what's up. I know that there's one, two, three, four that are going to require immediate or at least soon action. I know I have one, two, three, four that I'm waiting on other people to reply to to make sure this action gets done. And then I have one, two, three that I'm going to read later. They're not a big deal. I'll get to them when I have a little bit of downtime. But because I work in focused work sessions, now I can just bust out these follow-ups and I can move on for the day. And when I get time, I'll come back to these. And if I get a response, I'll come back to these. And that's it, guys. It's super, super simple. But I'm telling you, this will change your whole way of doing emails. I only check my email now two, a maximum of three times a day because I get on it and I just fire through that super quick. And if you've not watched my video on the three-line email, that's also another part of this. I go through things quick and when I do have a response, three lines and I'm done. So really, instead of like going through emails, clicking through them, trying to pull them in the folders, uh, which one should I respond to? Which ones are important? I don't know. And spending like, you know, half an hour, sometimes 45 minutes going through emails to make sure you respond to everything. Now, honestly, I'm in and out of an email session in less than 10 minutes every single time and I get to these ones I need to follow up with. So it's an amazing, amazing system. I would challenge you to use it for at least a month and see how it goes. Now, if you have all the different folders, a ton of folders in here like I used to have, you can keep them. They're just going to get in the way. Honestly, I went through them and deleted every single folder. It was like 40 folders, and then I archived everything in those folders, so they go away. They're still in my mail. All you have to do is come up here and search for them, but they're just not in my inbox anymore. And the clarity this gives you about the work you're doing, the focus sessions that you're doing on email is insane. So do this. Check your email three times a day. I check it in the morning at around 8 a.m. I check it about 11 a.m. And then I check it about 3 or 4 p.m. 6 p.m. I switch off. So, you know, whatever. If I have to check it one more time, I will. But I don't have it sitting all the time on my browser um, because now you know, there's no point. I'll just get through everything. I'm super efficient and everyone knows what I'm up to. So that is my Inbox Zero system. Now you could do this on any server, but I do find Gmail to be the most efficient. The apps are pretty intuitive on the phone and the iPad. You can't really do shortcuts on there, but you can move them to the specific labels. Or a lot of the times if I'm on the phone or the iPad, I'll just do the emails like regular. And when I get back to the desktop, I'll just filter them all in. So anyway, you can do it whichever way you want to. If you're interested in systems like this, you can check out the course below. It's a free course you can check out right here all about systems you need to set up for your business to run efficiently. And if you haven't been here before, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. I drop videos twice a week, all about systems, processes, time management to help realtors in their busy lives and their busy schedules stay focused, stay on task and crush their business. So I will see you on the next video. 